Hey there everybody, Don here from Launch Report. Welcome back. This is the all new, freshly released Zelos Hammerhead 3. And the big deal here is it is two millimeters thinner. Now that's not the only difference. There are some other changes going on here and a lot of inviting changes in my opinion. But the biggest thing to keep in mind here is that is the only dimension that has changed. If you were looking for a smaller in diameter Zelos hammerhead, this is not it. I don't know if we'll ever see that, but this is now two millimeters thinner and with that does bring along some other changes. Now you're looking at a price of $349 and all the new versions, no matter what one you pick, are going to have the Seiko NH35 automatic movement. So let's go ahead Let's uh, show you the packaging here first. So this is the same and newer packaging from Zillow. So what I mean is you're still getting that wooden cigar style box, but now there's a new case inside, a zippered case. And inside that case, you're just going to find the watch. There is no tools or uh, extra straps. You're just going to get the watch on the bracelet, but you do have a lot of room in there for a lot of extra stuff. And it's a pretty nice looking case typical of what Zelos normally gives you. Now, concerning the watch, let's go ahead and do a walk around here while I give you the specifications because, as I said, not so much else has changed in terms of dimensions, but there's a lot of new things on this watch as well. You are looking at a 44 millimeter case. It is 22 millimeter lug width, 48 millimeter lug to lug. The thickness of the case is 13 millimeters. That is without the domed sapphire crystal. When you measure in that crystal is 14.6 millimeters. So it is significantly thinner than the Zelos Hammerhead 2. Now I'm gonna put up on screen here a picture from my Zelos Hammerhead 2 review and you can see the difference in terms of thickness. Also, this does not have the helium release valve because this is 300, uh, 300 meters water resistant, not 1,000 meters water resistant. The bezel insert on this specific one is ceramic, and depending on what version you would get, uh, you decide to pick, uh, you would get either the ceramic or a stainless steel insert. You have a sunburst dial. Now this one's sunburst, but there are two meteorite dial versions, so they're all sunburst or you can get the meteorite dials. There's two versions in meteorite, I believe. This is a sunburst dial. You do have C3, X1, and BGW9 Super Luminova Loom. You do have a signed crown with loom, and it's a 3, uh, 316L stainless steel bracelet with the quick adjust clasp. And uh, as I said, it is a sapphire crystal with an AR coating and that Seiko NH35 automatic movement with the color matched date wheel. Now this specific one is the brown Fume dial with black edges, but it's listed as vintage black. So that's what they're going for. And it's kind of a unique dial here that we'll talk about in a minute. You do have screws in the bracelet. It is that newer style Zelos clasp, and it does not have that frosted finish anymore. So it's very, very smooth, as is the rest of the watch. You will not find any rough edges around the clasp, the bracelet, the back of the lugs, anything like that. So let's go ahead, let's start with the case, and let's start with and, and talk with the differences here. So the case design stays the same. It's that blocky, chunky, you know, kind of want to say is Seiko 6105, Seiko Turtle, you know, cushion shaped cases, that angular sides of the case that the Zeos Hammerhead has become known for. And that's what you're still getting here. You're also getting that, you know, same style finishing that was still on the Hammerhead 2 and the titanium version, which is the top of the case is satin brushed. But then the sides of the case are a combination of a very fine bead blasting and then the other half is satin brushed as well. You do have that large screw down crown. You have uh, the same style bezel. The bezel insert has changed a little bit. You'll notice there's a little 15 minute uh, track there. Um, little 15 minute bar, if you will, on the uh, bezel insert there. And it does loom up and glow in the dark. That is really the only change when it comes to the bezel and the bezel insert on this new Hammerhead 3. When it comes to the bracelet, 
that's where things get a little interesting because I'm going to show you um, another picture here of the bracelet. And you can see the bracelet on this one is the older style bracelet and especially of the one I know that was on the titanium version of the Hammerhead. The older one on the Hammerhead 2 was a different style bracelet. That's the one I showed you there on screen. So that one was a lot thicker and chunkier. So not only is this case thinner, but it goes back to the more original style bracelet that he used with the Hammerhead, that Zelos uh, used with the Hammerhead. And I like this one a lot more. I like the look of it a lot more. And of course, I like the fact that it's not as thick and chunky. And as I said, you are getting that new style clasp. There was nothing wrong with uh, any of the iterations of the clasps on the Hammerhead, or for that matter, most of the Zelos lineup. But I really do like this new one. And you do have that little push button quick adjust for the uh, dive extension on the inside of the clasp as well. This is really, and I, I don't think this is stressed enough, the fit and the finish on this watch along with a clasp like this at a $349 price point just you know shows why Zillow sells out as quick as it does and why they are so popular as a micro brand because you know you could find watches that are $1,000 and $1,500 that do not have a clasp as nice as this one. As I said, you do have screws in the bracelet and the bracelet is very large. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. Obviously I have a lot of links left over. If you have a large wrist, this should fit you fine. When it comes to the dial, as I said, it is a Fume dial. Now there's many other dial versions. Two of those versions of this new model are sold out already. That is the burnt orange and the crimson red. And I want to talk production numbers because, as I said, Zealous Watches is very popular and they sell out quick. And with that, Elshan decided, hey, let's go ahead, let's ramp up production numbers. And he did. So it's between 300 and 500. Now, I don't have specific numbers for each version or dial color, how many are made. I believe the... Uh, vintage black as this one is has 500 the crimson red and the burnt orange only had 300 apiece it's had 600 watches sold out already and this at the time that you're watching this this i don't even think it's been out a week or just about a week and those are already sold out so even with those higher production numbers they're still selling out quick and I never want anybody to feel forced to buy something or that I'm pushing something on you from one of my reviews, but I'll just say this. Don't be on the fence about a Zealous watch because otherwise it's gonna be sold out and you're gonna be looking for it secondhand. If you want one of these, whether it's, you know, you're watching this review or you've been wanting a Zealous watch for a long time, whatever the case may be, don't hesitate, go ahead and jump on it because the next time you go back to the website, they may not be available anymore. But back to this dial, um, I'm gonna show you another picture from the Zealous Hammerhead 2 review of the dial. You're gonna notice that the hands are different. These are solid hands now. And uh, I like these hands a lot better because it's just a cleaner looking dial in my opinion. And the markers, the indices are a little bit different, a little different shapes here. They're still applied. Overall, just a cleaner look to the dial, which I just personally prefer, but that's subjective and you do have that color match date wheel down at the six o'clock position. Of course, this being a sunburst style, depending on what light you're going to be in, it's going to look different every time. And that's one of the nice features of a sunburst dial. Um, the crown is signed, as I said, big crown, easy to grip, no issues whatsoever. Same with the bezel, nice action, just overall, this is one of those watches that is just, it's a crazy value for the money. And I'm, I hate to do this. I said I wasn't going to mention it. I'm going to mention it. This watch is $349. And it has a Seiko NH35. The previous, one of the previous models of watches that I just reviewed was an Ergon Adventum. And that is Elshan is partnered. Elshan, who owns Zeos, is partnered with the guy who runs that brand. So there's a partnership there. That was $359 and it had a Miyota 9015. That watch, as I said in that review, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it up in the upper right hand corner there. That watch was built to a price point to accommodate that movement. 
and the finishing suffered from it. The overall case finishing suffered from that. Now it's a very different style watch. That is a Genta inspired watch. This is, you know, a big 300 meter diver. But what you're getting here is the quality, the typical Zelos quality that I was expecting on that Ergon that was not there because they decided for whatever reason they wanted to go with that 350, $360 price point but they had to uh, sacrifice a few things to use that Miyota 9015 because the Seiko NH35 is a much cheaper movement as we all know. So, okay, I talked about it. I said I wasn't going to, but I talked about it anyway. At $350, this is just crazy. When it comes to the loom, it's dual loom. There's loom everywhere. There's loom on the bezel, on the dial, on the hands, on the crown, and it's fantastic. And if you're a loom junkie, I'm not as big into Loom these days, but I still, when I say I'm not as big into Loom, I want a watch. If you're going to tout the Loom and you're going to have it all over, I want it to glow and I want it to glow for a long period of time. But Loom is just not in my, you know, when I'm looking at a watch, you know, it's important, but not the most important thing that I look for. But if you are somebody that loves Loom and needs Loom, well, Zelos always delivers and this one is no exception. On my seven and a half inch wrist, it fits like a Zelos hammerhead, except now it's not as tall. A lot of links, as I said, so if you're a large wristed fella, you should have no problem. And if you still need more links because uh, you're Andre the Giant's son or something, I'm sure if you email Zelos, they will attach a few extra links for you uh, in case you need them. You know, I don't know how many other iterations of the hammerhead there are going to be. Um, I'm sure maybe now with this generation three, we'll probably see another bronze versions of it because those are always popular and who knows what else he has, you know, up his sleeve for these. I'll tell you what, one thing I would like to see, and let me know if you agree. Let me know down in the comment section if you agree, if you would like to see an all DLC version of the Hammerhead. Now I looked online before I started this video and you know what, I cannot remember really ever seeing a full DLC version of any of the newer watches from Zelos. I believe, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it, I think it was called the Zelos Eagle. That was a full DLC, it did not come with the bracelet, uh, but that was many, many years ago now. I would like to see this in a full DLC, uh, different dial colors, whatever, but I think that would look really hot. Although I'm just on an all black watch kick now, so maybe that's just me. But let me know if you agree down in the comment section below. As far as this piece, you know, I, uh, I don't think we're going to see a written article on this only because I've reviewed so many versions of the Zelos Hammerhead. And uh, this one is new, but uh, I wanted to get this video out quick because again, these watches sell out fast and I didn't want it to be like last time re I reviewed a Zelos and that specific combination wasn't even available as I was reviewing it because it had already sold out. So I wanted to get this, wa uh, this review out to you guys as soon as possible. Um, what can I say? I love Zelos watches for the most part. This is a hammerhead and it has a great unique design that uh, it really appeals uh, to me and it appeals to a lot of different people, obviously. That's why they sell out so quickly. And now, if it was a little too tall, a little too top heavy, a little too thick, you know what? I didn't mention it. This weighs 234 grams. I don't believe I mentioned that when I was talking about the specifications. So it's not as heavy as the ZLS Hammerhead 2 either. Now it doesn't sit as tall on the wrist. And for $350, the, these watches are really hard to beat. Value, finish, look, everything, really hard to beat for 350 bucks. But uh, if you wanna see more, I'll have uh, all the links down in the description below, including Amazon affiliate links. Please check those out. And uh, of course, I wanna see you back here for the next video review. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you on the next one.